y'all and welcome back to my channel. This is Cashman Crafts. I am Melissa, the Crafty Autism Mom, and today I have with me a polishing cloth, two of my pendants, and headlight polish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you can do when you have scratches on your pendants, I have a mold right here and it has scratches in on the surface of these, okay? So, what you can do is you can take a disposable paintbrush, similar to this one, and dip it in some epoxy. I don't have any made up right now, so I can't show you, but you dip it in the epoxy and put it over there and voila, they're gone. Okay, so these two have a couple of tiny scratches. I don't know if you can see them well. And to the naked eye, you probably can't see them, but I don't want my customers to get them at home and, and be like, well, this has a scratch on it. Oh my God, it's flawed. <laughs> and I paid how much for it? You know what I mean? I mean, some people are picky about flaws on their pendants and I probably shouldn't say that out loud, but I'm just being honest. I'm being honest, y'all. I probably should not say that, but this is a fast and easy way to fix your flaws. And I don't know what is, what is up with my hair, but it just it wants to do its own thing right now. I just cut my bangs, and so it is just, it's on fire. It's on fire. Looks like I stuck my finger in a light socket is what happened. I must have done that while I was cooking earlier. Okay, but anyways. So, what you do is, like, you just take a little bit. Let me put one of these on because I am going to touch it with my finger. And it says explicitly on the instructions of this bottle not to touch it with your fingers because it can be irritable to skin. So, pay attention to the instructions, y'all. And I'm just gonna put one because I'm gonna have this. I normally rub it with this finger, that's why I do this one. So you just want to keep it as far away from your skin as you can. Plus, I have eczema, y'all, which is why I have these on. And yeah, so eczema sucks. I'm just saying, eczema sucks. And I don't want to get some of this on on me and then end up with another eczema spot. So anyways, um, <laughs> this hot mess just hit the, um, instead of the hot mess express, it is like the hot mess double espresso. Okay. So you just take a tiny bit. That's all it takes. And this is plastics, clear plastic cleaner and polish. Removes cloudiness, yellowing, oxidation and fine scratches now even faster so that's new and improved plastics so i got a piece of res a piece of resin dried resin on there i've got dried resin everywhere y'all i've got to clean this little workstation here so you just take a polishing cloth or you can take a sponge whichever you prefer and just polish it on out and you just sit here and do this for like a minute or two. And it also polishes your piece so that it looks, it looks shiny. So, and voila, there goes the scratches. And I do this at least a couple times so that I know the scratches are gone and it looks like that one don't want to come out but I'm gonna do it another time I'm gonna do it another time there you go see how much shinier that is that is a fast easy way to get your scratches out if you have little scratches if your resin gets a little bit cloudy like this pendant right here just take it and shine it up a bit, and there you go, a shiny pendant. 
I hope this makes it easier for y'all and I hope this helps somebody. Um, if there is something that you would like to see me do, you can put that in the comments below. Um, these will be in my Etsy shop really shortly. If you would, um, if you would like to know about my Etsy shop, go to the about section and it is linked in the about section. Um, if you have any comments, any suggestions, any questions, anything like that, then just comment below and I will answer as soon as I can. Other than that, today is St. Patrick's Day, so y'all have a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day. I'll be back tomorrow. I am going to do a um, resin pendant. Um with this Perlex powder. I'm gonna show you the different colors I can do with it. And I, I believe I'll be doming a, um, a autism piece. So stay tuned. I'll be back tomorrow with the resin pendants with the Perlex powder. So I will see y'all then. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. Thank you, bye.